Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Report for Sunday, October 29th. How you doing? You doing all right? All right, so the energy is finally starting to calm down. We didn't get any big blasts last night. Yesterday, we got this crown, or yesterday, yesterday, this got this crown, and then halfway through the day, we got this little bit here. This was kind of like in the root, but not really. It wasn't super strong. And today, so far, we've got nice and calm. <sighs> which is good because you know like I need a recovery day like can we not have a leg or an arm day today can I just have a sleep day today please while the energy that we've been receiving has been really strong it has been really purposeful really pushing forward those limiting beliefs and really asking us to start making the decisions we need to make in order to live the life we want to live and I gotta tell you I've had so many comments from so many people that this is happening to them I've been receiving in meditation for the last, I don't know, month or so, that the time has come. That's what I keep hearing. The time has come, the time has come. And I really feel like that the wave of awakening is to, such, is to a point such that we can really tip the scales here, but we gotta work on our focus. We're not gonna focus on protesting a war. We're gonna focus on promoting peace. We're gonna focus on doing things for ourselves that help law of attraction work in our favor, friends. Because remember, law of attraction is gonna serve you by bringing evidence to you of that which you put your focus on. So focus on something that feels good. And today, while our bodies are getting a rest from receiving all this energy, do something to replenish your body, both physically and emotionally and metaphysically too. Go for a walk, read a book, watch a good TV show or bad TV if that's your jam, cause it's kind of mine, you know, I'm a whole huge Sister Wives fan. Do something fun for Halloween, bake, Eat something that tastes delicious. Do something that really helps you feel good today. Sunday is typically and stereotypically a day of rest. Use that in your advantage today. And again, I just wanna say, when you're feeling a ton of contrast, that's not the time to make snap decisions, but it's good to make plans, right? So I am a big fan of mindfully planning. I don't like the idea of planning out every little detail because it leaves zero room for inspiration. However, I do like a mindful plan where you have some steps in place that help outline what you're gonna do, leaving room for inspiration along the way, but still moving in a direction of a target. And the best time to plan something like that is when you're not in a state of emotional upheaval. So if today is a day of rest for you, maybe today's the day to start looking at how can you do things to help you live on your, um, in your best life, on your highest timeline, whatever you wanna call it. What can you do for yourself to help start your own business if that's what you wanna do or change jobs or whatever it is. And don't forget that daydreaming is truly the best way to help you manifest. You know that because you daydream about something and you feel so good when you're thinking about it and then you leave it up there and say, here universe, bring it to me. Did you set your intentions with the full moon? If not, you can still do it tonight. You can still charge your crystals tonight too. You can still meditate under the moon tonight. Grab some of that energy, yo. And as always, have a great day.